Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier and Chairman of the High Urban Planning Committee, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, as well as the committee's members. The Crown Prince gave a briefing to His Majesty the King about the role of the committee and its goals to develop the level of urban planning and guarantee the march of sustainable development in the kingdom. He also talked during the briefing about adopting the strategic structural plan in accordance with Royal Decree 36 of 2016, detailed work plans for governance and making use of the Bahraini French initiative to develop cities, which is the result of His Majesty the King's visit to France in 2015, aimed to develop urban planning processes according to the needs of Bahrain. The initiative was launched in March 2016 under the supervision of the High Urban Planning Committee, a specialised team consisting of experts from a number of leading French companies in the field of engineering and planning, which was formed under this initiative to work with the concerned parties in Bahrain. His Royal Highness also reviewed the committee's strategy for the following phase, which includes initiatives and a work plan to achieve the desired goals. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his efforts and contributions to reinforce the national march of the kingdom, enhance the performance of the government and adopt initiatives and lay plans and programmes which support the national economy in service of the kingdom and its people. His Majesty also expressed appreciation to the efforts the committee members and the benefit of the development of Bahrain. He directed to adopt the plan presented by His Royal Highness, the Chairman of the Committee. He praised the Committee's plans and programmes which help improve the level of urban planning and guarantee sustainable development in the field of urban planning to highlight the urban aspect of the Kingdom. His Majesty commended Bahrain's achievements in all fields thanks to the efforts of its people, affirming that it will continue to employ plans and development programmes that benefit the Kingdom and live up to the aspirations of the people of more progress and prosperity in all fields. He wished the Chairman of the High Urban Planning Committee and its members success and further progress. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today received at Safriya Palace the Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Libera Liberation Organization, Dr. Saeb Erekat, who is currently visiting the country. His Majesty the King welcomed Dr. Erekat and requested him to convey His Majesty's greetings to the Palestinian President, Mahmoud Abbas, and his wishes of success and prosperity to the Palestinian people. His Majesty the King commended the efforts of the Palestinian President in serving the Palestinian cause and reinforcing unity amongst the Palestinian people. During the meeting, His Majesty highlighted the strong Bahraini-Palestinian ties, emphasizing Bahrain's keenness in supporting the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people to live in peace and security in their own independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. His Majesty added that Bahrain will support all efforts that aim to achieve comprehensive peace in the area through implementing United Nations Security Council resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative. His Majesty the King stressed the importance of unity and reconciliation between the Palestinian people in order to restore their full national rights. His Majesty the King also expressed his wishes of development and prosperity to the Palestinian leadership and people. For his part, Dr. Erekat conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings and wishes from the Palestinian President. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his role in supporting Arab joint action and the Palestinian cause, noting Bahrain's honourable stance in supporting Palestine and its people. He went on to brief His Majesty the King on the latest developments and situations in Palestine and expressed the Palestinian people's thanks and appreciation to Bahrain's leadership and people for their aid and efforts in supporting their country. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa offered condolences yesterday to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on the death of His Royal Highness Prince Turki bin Abdulaziz Al Saud in Riyadh. His Majesty the King also expressed sympathies to their Royal Highnesses, the sons of the deceased, and the Honourable Family of Al Saud. His Majesty the King highlighted the noble deeds of the deceased, his efforts and contributions along with his brothers, the Royal Princes, in reinforcing the development of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. 
For his part, the custodian of the two holy mosques expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his sincere sympathies that reflect the historic, deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two kingdoms and the two brotherly peoples, wishing His Majesty King Hamad abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, today chaired at Gudabia Palace the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the importance of the visit of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales under the invitation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa within the framework of support of Bahraini British relations, which coincided with the anniversary of more than 200 years of close historical ties between the two countries. This has resulted in close bilateral cooperation, which has led to achieving goals of common interest. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the necessity of dealing firmly with the irregularities cited by the Office of Financial and Administrative Control Report and the activation of the principles of accountability and transparency for violators. His Royal Highness directed government bodies under the Office of Financial and Administrative Control to address these irregularities and correct them immediately. He also instructed the Minister of Cabinet Affairs to study fundamental remarks and recommendations cited by the Office of Financial and Administrative Control in its annual report for 2015 to 2016, as well as dealing with them as required by the duty of monitoring adopted by the government. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also directed to continue the creation of job opportunities for university graduates and linking education programs to development plans and the needs of the labour market, noting the role of higher education institutions in supporting the government in the preparation of academically qualified cadres and the importance of continuing the encouragement to investment in the education sector. He also congratulated the graduates of Alia University and the AMA University who participated in the ceremony held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Bahraini media to continue the efforts of keeping up with new technology developments in the media field in order to encourage leaps on the professional and methodological levels to deliver its message highlighting the development projects that launched at Bahrain Television, recommending the efforts of the Ministry of Information Affairs and all its affiliates. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the reconsideration of streets conversion in residential areas into commercial streets due to the resulting harassment and noise for residents, as well as the traffic jams created. He instructed the review of all requirements and classifications involved in the conversion process in addition to the conditions and criteria for the construction of multiple floor buildings in residential neighbourhoods. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then instructed the Ministry of Health to hold courses for the rehabilitation of volunteers in first aid by 30 trainees in each province every year for those who wish to acquire the basic skills to provide first aid in emergency situations for its impact in raising the level of awareness among citizens and the importance of rapid intervention in order to save lives. 
The Cabinet referred the performance review reports of two academic programmes belonging to the higher education institutions to the Supreme Council for Development of Education and Training and the placement of four qualifications for higher education as well as the annual report of the quality of education and training for 2016. The Cabinet discussed six proposals by the Representatives Council in which the Cabinet approved the allocation of housing projects for the areas of Northern Sahla, Abu Goa, Jablat, Habashi and neighbouring areas. A proposal on the requirement for transforming the streets in residential areas into commercial streets, a proposal of the deportation of foreigners after the conviction in a moral issues trial and a proposal on rehabilitation of volunteers to carry out first aid in case of emergency. The Cabinet also approved a proposal regarding the Ministry of Housing, taking into account the needs of the beneficiaries in the design of residential units and the proposal of meat subsidy compensation as a one-time whole payment. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudubia Palace today with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has stressed that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, has reached many accomplishments in the fields of politics, the economy, human rights and development, which has reinforced its status internationally as an advanced model for development. They affirmed the government's keenness to adopt initiatives that aim to further develop government services provided to the people in order to boost their living standards. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Al Ghudabiya Palace today the Council of Representatives Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah, Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Salah, President of the Supreme Judicial Council and Cassation Court Chancellor Salim Al Khawari, and members of the Parliament in the presence of the former Speaker of the Council of Representatives Khalifa Al Dahrani. His Royal Highness affirmed that cooperation and coordination amongst constitutional authorities has increased Bahraini national production and created an opportunity to develop national gains in various political, economic and human rights fields. The Prime Minister also noted that unity leads to more national accomplishments and the optimal handling of any developments on the political and economic levels protects the Kingdom and its people from the negative outcomes of the development. His Royal Highness said that the government makes sure to coordinate with authorities regarding any national matters and believes that the National Action March will achieve its goals with the strong strategic partnership that exists amongst various authorities and with joint national efforts aimed at achieving the best for the country and its people. During the meeting, the Prime Minister highlighted the role of the legislative authorities and the Council of Representatives' work on the legislative and supervisory levels, as well as reinforcing the foundations of the Kingdom's Development March. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness on strengthening the partnership with the legislative authority and benefiting from every national opinion and experience that contributes to the service of society and meets the aspirations of citizens. He also noted that the government is open to all government and parliamentary cooperation and that it shares the representative's beliefs in achieving ways that elevates viable development to the benefit of citizens in line with resources available to the government. His Royal Highness also praised the jurisdiction's contributions and its development programs that ensure litigation speed and formed in all aspects including a supportive element for the government's economic and investment directions. 
The Prime Minister also reviewed the latest developments and updates on the regional and international arenas where he confirmed that security and economic developments and the instability witnessed by many countries overshadowed the various countries of the world. Therefore, regional and international coordination is essential in order to successfully face it before it affects development and national security.
Israel Han is the Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Gudabia Palace today Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization, Dr. Saeb Erekat, who is currently visiting the country. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that some countries in the region have experienced in challenging situations that targeted the stability and that the Arab nation should strengthen its cooperation and joint action in order to face and overcome these challenges. His Royal Highness stated that it is important to embrace unity as a strategic approach in facing the rapid changes within the region, adding that the past events should be a lesson for the nation to avoid any possible threats to the future. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister advised Arab countries to avoid conflict and violence. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister commended the efforts of the Palestinian leadership and requested the Secretary of the PLO to convey his greetings to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. The Prime Minister went on to affirm Bahrain's keenness in supporting the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people to live in peace and security in their own independent state. For his part, Dr. Erekat conveyed to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the greetings and wishes of the Palestinian President. He expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his role in supporting joint Arab action and the Palestinian cause, noting Bahrain's honourable stance in support of Palestine and its people. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met today with the Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberalization Organization, Dr. Saeb Erekat, who is currently visiting the country. The Foreign Minister welcomed the PLO Secretary and emphasized Bahrain's position in supporting the Palestinian cause and legitimate rights of the Palestinian people to live in peace and security in their own independent state with Jerusalem as its capital. The Foreign Minister added that Bahrain will continue its efforts to achieve peace according to international legitimacy and the Arab Peace Initiative, noting that this peace will return security and stability to all countries in the region and meet people's aspirations of prosperity. For his part, Dr. Saeb Erekat expressed Palestinian people's thanks and appreciation for Bahrain's stances that support Palestinians' legitimate rights. He added that these stances reflect the deep-rooted ties between the two countries, wishing Bahrain success and prosperity. The Shura Council Secretary General Abdul Jalil Ibrahim Al Tarif received on behalf of the Shura Council Speaker Ali bin Salah Al Salah the Arabian Eagle Award granted by Tatwij Academy and the Arab Organization for Social Community granted to Al Salah for being an Arab pioneer in leadership and public administration. Al Tarif received the award during a major celebration held in Dubai under the patronage of Secretary General of the Office of the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister. Major General Nasser bin Salim Saif al Noemi, senior officials, participants from Arab countries, representatives of public and private institutions, and media figures also attended the event. Al Salah expressed appreciation to the Tatwij Academy and the Arab Organization for Social Community. He pointed out that this award emphasizes Arab institutions' appreciation of the Kingdom's achievements on human resources development during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wise government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He attributed these achievements to the efforts of the people of Bahrain, who have contributed profoundly to the kingdom's sustainable development, which receives both regional and global respect. al noted and expressed pride in Bahraini competencies and leaders who have been shaped according to the wise leadership's vision, which aims towards building a strong economy and development in all fields. He affirmed that the government's vision and firm approach to develop human resources has advanced all aspects of education, health, science and culture for citizens and has enhanced the level and efficiency of public services. The Shura Council Speaker affirmed that the Kingdom continues to succeed under the leadership of His Majesty the King and that regional and international acknowledgement came as a result of the people's effective contribution in the Kingdom. He pledged to continue to work with determination and sincerity to enhance Bahrain's standing in international forums.
A very good evening. You're watching the Business and News on Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. Bahrain on share index closed at 1,161.22 points, marking a decrease of 1.04 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, services and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly the commercial banks with 36% of total shares. 53 transactions included 1,773,759 shares, or 359,536 Bahraini dinars.